When you walk out the door concealing a firearm, or a weapon for that matter, are you the same person? I say no. The video that we're about to look at right now is focused on concealing a firearm or a weapon and what your mindset should be when you're doing so. Please throw in your input. I hope everybody gets at least one tip out of this. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. Let's have a discussion on concealing a firearm. If you've been following my channel, by now you realize I'm a huge advocate to concealing firearms. I conceal two, sometimes three. I'm a little overboard and I'll even carry one or two blades and a flashlight and stuff like that. So yes, I'm a huge advocate for the Second Amendment, for us to protect ourselves. Let's talk about it because there's a lot of obligation that goes along with it. I'm going to give you some advice that is not obviously legal advice, it's life advice, and I think it's just kind of common sense advice. First of all, let's just start with the basics. You get your license, your permit, and you're legally able to carry a firearm. Which firearm should you purchase? I say purchase a firearm that you're going to conceal and carry as often as possible. It might be a little small 380. A lot of people say, well, I, you know, I want the big 45, maybe a Glock 30, which, which I love the Glock 30, and I carry all the Glocks at different times. The answer, I think, is purchase a firearm that you're going to conceal most frequently, like all the time. It is your obligation to conceal once you get that permit. Okay? Maybe you want a 1911. Not all that much firepower, but extremely accurate and just wonderful firearms. I kind of like the Glocks because of the high magazine capacity. Maybe you want to carry a blade also, like this extra large Spada, which I talk about frequently on this channel. This is a sword. This is, this is 17 inches overall length. This is massive. But I got to tell you, we'll be doing a separate video on knife laws. One of my viewers, just two days ago, we have ultimately we got on the phone and discussed it. He got pulled over for a simple uh, registration being expired on his car, just going 15 miles an hour through a mall parking lot. Officer asked him to get out of the car, no big deal. He does, he opens up the door, and sitting there is this blade. No big deal. He, he's in Pennsylvania, by the way. The officer didn't know the law on knives. What he did was he wrote the gentleman up, uh, took the knife, confiscated the knife, towed the car away because the registration, and told the young man, well, we're going to start an investigation to see if this is legal or not. So that's a separate video. You have to make sure whatever you're concealing is legal, okay? If it's in your car, it's being concealed. If it's on your body, it's being concealed. Make sure you know your laws. We're not getting into gun laws right now or knife laws right now. We'll do more of that in the future. The focus on this video is you're concealing your gun, no matter how you decide to conceal it. You know me, I like my shoulder holster system. I also like a paddle system. I also like inside the waistband. I also like the ankle holster. Depending on my apparel, what I'm doing, I like to conceal a gun on a pouch if that's the case. Depending on what's going on that day. But here's what I really, the crux of this video is. Now that you're concealing a firearm, you really have to hold yourself up to a higher level. Let's just talk in generalities. Are you a Rambo type person when you have a gun? Oh, no, no, no. Just the opposite. As a matter of fact, when I'm concealing a firearm, which is all the time, like every day for the last 25, 30 years, I find myself to be a nicer, kinder person when I'm out and about. Because I know I've got a deadly weapon on me. I do not want to deal with ramifications with the law. I don't want to deal with any legal issues. I want to go home to my family at night, and I want to enjoy life. So, when you're leaving your home and you've got your firearm concealed legally, the first thing you need to do is stay on an even keel all the time. That's what I call it, an even keel. Stay level-headed. Don't get into any altercations. There's no such thing as road rage. There's no such thing as 
getting antsy online at a grocery store or getting upset with someone at a line in, a, in line somewhere and no matter where you're at you just you don't get upset at people when you're carrying a deadly weapon that's number one number two is what do you do if an altercation arises a couple of thugs start yelling at you uh, names bad names and stuff like that do you use deadly force no no you only use deadly force you only use your firearm as the last 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 resort i'm talking last like you need a, a levels from from 10 down to to one engaging boom and you better go for all these different levels before you engage because you do not want the ramifications of having to kill someone, first of all, we're talking dead. You shoot someone with a, with a, with a Glock 30, it's a pretty good chance you're going to kill them. And it's a pretty good chance you're going to probably keep pulling the trigger, uh, you know, with adrenaline going. You don't want to have that on your shoulders. You don't want the legal ramifications. Your gun is the last resort. So hold yourself up to a higher level. Stay on an even keel. Do not be upset. Do not have any road rage. Respect others. You're part of society. This is just talking out loud generalities. When you're carrying, hold yourself up to a higher level. Be above approach. Be above everybody else if you can. Just be respectful. Be kind and nice. Okay, now that with saying that, the next tip I can give everybody, what I do, this is what I do, is I know my surroundings. And that's huge. When I pull into a gas station, before I get out to pump the gas, boy, I'll, I'll case the area. You know, not get nervous, now. I'm not a nervous Nelly, but I'm gonna really case the area and look around, make sure there's nothing strange going on. I'm gonna look inside that convenience store to see if there's an armed robbery going on. And when I'm going down the road as a passenger or if I'm driving, I'm looking at my surroundings. I'm looking at the cars. I'm looking at people driving erratically. And maybe there was just a bank robbery that just took place. Who knows? I'm always looking around. And I'm, I'm, I'm aware of my surroundings. If someone smashes into the back of my car or just bumps into the back of my car, am I going to jump out of the car and go, hey, oh boy, I got a $200 dent in my car and, and, and be a victim of a possible carjacking? Now, I'm going to handle that differently. I'm going to drive to a lit up area and things like that. So we'll talk about carjacking at another time. What I'm trying to say is you want to have a different mindset when you're carrying your firearm. Your attitude has to really be on an even keel. Be prepared for repercussions if you use your firearm. Do you think the DA, do you think they're kind of nice? What if there's a DA that just doesn't like people who carry guns? And he wants to make a name for himself. You really don't want to have to use your firearm. I really hope I never have to pull any weapon for the rest of my life. I, I never want to have to do it. I just, I just don't. You want to flee from the situation. If you're in a situation where people, like I said, they're calling you names, they're arguing, they're, they're trying to start a fight with you, you want to defuse it, you want to get out of there, and if it means... You know, you put your tail between your legs and being a coward, I don't, I don't, that's cool. That's, that's bravery to me. Getting out of a bad situation is bravery. How about um, printing, just talking out loud? You don't want to print, okay? You don't want your firearm to print. So look in the mirror you know, before you go out. If you're wearing a shoulder holster, is the shirt, shirt too tight that's covering up your gun? If you got a paddle holster, if you got an ankle holster, make sure... You look smooth, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to stick out. You don't want an officer walking up to you and just harassing you and, and saying, what's going on with, I see that, that big gun you're carrying there. You don't want to get into any of that. This is all about your obligation when you conceal. You don't want to print. You want to stay on an even keel. You want to have a good mindset. You want to be kind and nice to people. You want to be respectful. You want to help society. You're there carrying a firearm because you're protecting your life, you're protecting your, your family's life, your loved one's lives. Hopefully you never have to, but you've got your firearm to do so. It's our God-given right. And you're also there to protect society from, from evil, from bad people. In the worst, last case scenario, <clears throat> remember, the firearm is the last case scenario. You know, when should you engage? Hopefully never. 
um, only if your life is definitely 100% in danger. And they're going to bring it in a court of law. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. I mean, if you shoot someone, it's not always black and white if you should have engaged or not. I mean, hopefully it is. I mean, hopefully if you have to engage, you can easily just... It was on camcorder somehow at a gas station and someone put a gun to your head and you protected yourself and shot the bad guy and it's just that black and white. Well, that, that's, that's, hopefully that's the case if you have to engage. But a lot of situations people engage, is, it's not on camcorder anywhere. It's, it's just your word against the person you shot. All right? Whether he's, if he's dead, there's, he's, he's not a witness no more. And if he's alive, he's going to have his own portion of the story. So the point of this video is, think. When you're carrying your firearm, it's, it's good for all of us gun owners to be level-headed, to be better in society, to treat people calmly and nicely, to look at your surroundings, and to be calm. And to not draw your weapon unless your life is 1,000, 1 million percent in danger. Otherwise, you scram. You get out of there, and you're a weasel. It's okay. You defuse the situation, get out of it. Please throw in your input on what you do when you conceal. What is your obligation when you conceal your firearm? That's my question to everybody. Thank you. Please tell a friend.